You know, I'd say at this point, uh, it's not been a significant factor, uh, at least more than offset by just general enthusiasm, <laughs> uh, I think, in the business community around growth of the economy and uh, less regulation, or at least less new regulation, and then obviously the boost from tax reform. So uh, from our perspective, uh, the expansion is alive and well here in the Southwest. Banks make money when they lend money. How is loan demand in your part of the country, and where is it coming from? Well, it's been strong. Uh, just for us specifically, the second quarter was the greatest uh, loan growth quarter we've had in the history of the company. It was $665 million. And it's been broad-based. We're seeing it across most uh, sectors. We're certainly seeing it uh, in the energy sector, which is important for us, commercial real estate, our health care group, and across most of our co uh, commercial and industrial areas as well. So. Uh, it's been broad-based, and it's been really building uh, strength uh, really since the first quarter. I'm guessing that, uh, that a large percentage of your lending portfolio does go to the energy sector. Can you put some numbers on it? And uh, I, my guess as well is that you feel very comfortable with oil prices roughly where they are today. It seems to be working for at least that part of the economy. Sure, from a BOK financial perspective, our energy portfolio is around $3 billion. Uh, that's the most uh, sizable segment uh, within our company. Uh, we have a 100-year history in uh, lending money to the energy business, so uh, you're exactly right. We're very comfortable there. Uh, we understand uh, the dynamics of that industry, and as that industry has recovered uh, strongly, really from the downturn of uh, 14 and 15, uh, we've seen uh, a lot of ancillary businesses uh, expanding in the marketplace as well. So energy is not all we do, uh, but it's an important part of what we do. Bill Griffith here. I was looking at a longer term chart of your stock I, back to 2000. Your stock is up five fold in that time. And, and if I had just looked at the chart, I would not have thought you were a financial institution. Are you not subject to the vagaries uh, uh, of the of the economic cycle there? Is your economy a little more stable than we've seen in other parts of the country? I mean, what what's going on there? I think it's really more uh, about the construct of how we've built BOK Financial over the years, Bill. Uh, nearly half of our revenue comes from fee-based businesses, whether it's wealth management, our ATM network, uh, or other fee areas. So we're not just dependent on uh, a lending cycle uh, to generate profitability for the organization or to find ways that we can serve clients as well, uh, regardless of where the economy is at a point in time. So. Uh, that was a lesson uh, that uh, we learned in the 80s uh, here in the Southwest, and we've built the bank accordingly, and I think that, that really says a lot for our performance. Should we expect to see more consolidation in the financial services business, in the banking business, maybe in your part of the country? Uh, that's question one, because I'm paid to ask double questions here. You know, I, I'm just paid <laughs> sure. to make it complicated. So will there be more, more uh, consolidation, number one? And number two, if that happens, do you worry about becoming so big that you may become subject to uh, much more prying eyes uh, on the well, become financially significant or systemically significant? Sure, and I think that uh, the SIFI uh, designation that you just mentioned is really the key to answering that question. Uh, that has, uh, up until May of this year, uh, there was a significant bright line in that regulation at 50 billion asset size. And for a bank of our size, we're 34 billion. Uh, we considered that to be a pretty significant barrier to us because mm -hmm. it added an element of cost, a pretty dramatic element of cost. Well, that moved to $250 billion with that change to Dodd-Frank in May. And so I think uh, there will be additional consolidation. I think there's some pent-up consolidation out there in the marketplace. We're a good example of that. Just in the last 30 days, we announced an acquisition of a $4 billion bank, Colorado Business Bank, based in right. Denver. Uh, and so uh, no question uh, we see that as a growth opportunity moving forward.